Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about some of the components that we're using in this deck in particular. All of them are from Simpsons Strong Tie. And so I wanted to go over some of the different components or connections that we're using in fasteners, why they're important and what they're actually doing for our deck. So we can start with our H1Zs. These are our hurricane ties. And you'll notice that every single joist has one and they are all on the front side of our support beam on this side. So the reason you want a hurricane tie is for any lateral force that might be coming from seismic activity activity, earthquakes, or if you have hurricane, which is a wind load that is sweeping up this way. Because once you have all these deck boards on the top, you more or less have a sail. Depending on where you live, wind may or may not be an issue. Most places eventually it can, depending on a weird weather pattern. So this is usually required. Obviously you need to check your local code and have your deck engineered. Next, I wanna talk about our joist hangers. These are the LU28, which is basically the two eight is for the, the size of the lumber, which is a two by eight for all of our joists. And now you want to use a joist hanger because they are a superior form of connection for your deck. Of course, you've probably seen it before where people <laughs> use nails or screws to attach their joists to the ledger board, but your joist hangers are going to be superior and much stronger. Also, these ones from Simpson Strong Tie have a Z-Max coating, which is something that's going to help fight against corrosion over time. That finish is something that is going to help your deck last longer. Another thing that we're using here are our column caps. So we have a column end cap here, which is a CCQ46. And the four is for the lumber above. That's four inches thick. And the post is six by six. So that's what the four six is for. This is made out of hot dip galvanized, which is even a more superior finish that's going to really help your deck last a long time. You can see the connections are quite strong. It's important that you use the screws that come with the kit. So when you buy these, they come in a box and they come with all the hardware that you'll need to connect them. And the reason you want to make sure you use the ones from the kit is because of the finish on the outside. They're designed to work together. Sometimes when you combine material that have different finishes on them, it can actually cause some corrosion. So those are things that you want to consider. Let's see what else we have here. Our column base, which you can see here, we have them on all of our posts are set into concrete and our wood is not touching the concrete or dirt. Obviously we didn't push that through, but I'm sure you've seen sometimes people sink their posts straight into concrete. That's okay for certain applications, but when you're building a deck and a deck to last, you definitely want to have your, your post columns, bases on all of them. And here's why. Concrete can hold moisture. Obviously soil holds moisture too, but that concrete will hold that moisture. And because wood it has the design of wood, it's going to wick water up always. <laughs> so having that separation with the metal helps prevent that moisture from being in here. And we all know that moisture over time equals rot. And so if you really want to have the longevity of your deck, you definitely want the post bases. The DTT1s, which is a deck tension tie. Now these are required. I don't always see them, but they are required. And so we're using the DTT1 that has about three inches that it screws into the base material behind it. Now, the reason you need these DDTs or the deck tension ties is because if you have, say, a lot of people dancing here, you have some other activities, you want to make sure that this deck is tied back to the house as securely as possible. So with the DDT1, you're going to have four across every plane of the face. So this side would have four, this side would have four as well. And again, that's just to hold your deck onto the house. So whatever reason there might be some movement people having a party or dancing or whatever you don't want any of that movement to pull this deck away from the house i think that covers pretty much most of the hardware that we're using from or the connections that we're using from simpson strong tie here but if you guys have any connect any connections if you have any questions at all about what we're using for this project just let me know in the comments below if i can't answer it um i know that scott fisher from simpson strong tie has been a great resource for me and i'd be happy to ping him with any additional questions all right thanks for watching Watching.